this week on the Hoover Boys. You're be some stupid. Ooh. Always nice to start a video with an Indian head scent. Uh, it's me, Bill, and our buddy Mark. We went uh, door knocking this morning. Still early in the morning, we landed a permission that dates back to the 1630s. Very early sight. The guy said it has been detected before, but he said, go ahead, give it a try. This is my second signal. There's a nice little deepie. I'm using the little sharpshooter, you know, the five by eight coil, because I figured there'd be a lot of iron and stuff in here. I looked at the back already and we have ourselves an Indian it's a good way to start the day look at this soil it's like dirty sand or right on the uh, right on the water let me toothpick it so I can get a date we'll come back hopefully she cleans up cleaned up a little bit enough to get a date there's a 1900 1900 Indian head scent that's a good way to start the day it's early. Hopefully there's some more goodies here for us to find. I was just telling my buddy Trooper Bri the other day, I was like, anytime an Indian comes out of the ground, I'm a happy man. That's why I recheck your holes. Sounds like another one in there. Can you hold this for me? Yes, I can. Be another Indian friend. It'd be a little silver. There she is. It is. It's gotta be another Indian. Yep, another Indian. <laughs> That's awesome. beautiful. Then I get a date while you're rolling. First one was 1900. And this one is 1897, I believe. I need to clean it up, but Indian spell. I'll check the hole again and keep on going. I've got a really nice coin signal. I'm going to call a matron head large set. You can't beat that signal. 8283. Rust. Probably right on the surface. Four inches deep, right there. You're allowed to be like a two reals or something, but it'll kill me. It's going to probe. That's deeper than I thought. Probably a D buckle. It's down there. Be good. Oh, I saw some green fall off. Did that fall off? Yes, sir. <laughs> Told you. How did that fall oh, out of my yes. hand without me noticing yes, it? <laughs> well, that is my first big copper of the year. I'm gonna give it a toothpick. I guess I'll show the people how a toothpick since you get the camera on me. Just take the toothpick, dropped it again. The edge of the toothpick. Scrape the dirt away. Let's clean it up nice. Nice green on there. Be something stupid. Oh, it's a <laughs> that's the back of what probably is a a matron. Oh no, I dropped my toothpick in the corn needles. Oh I found it. <laughs> this dirt here is dry. What's going on on this side? That's weird. It looks different. The back of it looks like a what I called. The green's coming off there. I'm gonna give it a finger rub. I think it's gonna be what I called matron head large scent. I think. It's definitely one scent there. There's stuff here, Mark. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me finish cleaning it. We'll do a close up. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this is awesome. I've never found a largey like this. That's the reverse. It is what I called. 
I'm gonna call a matron head large stamp. It's a matron head large stamp, but it's counter stamp. This is R M Adams, R M A D A M S, right on the face of Lady Liberty. There's definitely a little bit of date coming through there. It's probably 1830s. That is freaking sick, man. Oh, first large scent of 2019 for me. First U.S. large scent. Let me go shoot a belly. Check out the counter stamp, dude. Oh, you say counter stamp? Yeah, R.M. Adams. You say counterfeit? Counterfeit. Now, isn't that cool? Oh, that's awesome. Oh wow. <laughs> I've I've never. I mean, I've found a couple of large scents with different things yeah, typed in them, but that's like nothing that pronounced. That's, that is cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Get her back in the sun. I just told Mark, there's stuff here, buddy. Oh yeah, this place is amazing. <laughs> I have always loved altered coins. Something about an altered coin just fascinates me. You have a coin and a personal item, two of my favorite things to find, all in one. Now today I want to talk about counter stamps on coins. Back in the 19th century, especially between the 1820s and the 1880s, it was a very common practice to counterstamp coins for a number of different reasons. Different stores would stamp their names on coins. Businessmen would do so to advertise their business. Other times, political slogans were stamped on coins. And there was many personal pocket pieces known, where somebody would stamp their name on a coin, carry it around in their pocket, or even wear it around their neck. And I think that's what this one is. I think this one's a personal pocket piece. Now, I've found plenty of coins that have been altered over the years. I even found a love token. But I've never found a counter-stamped coin. The crazy thing is, exactly a week after I found this coin, I was detecting with my friend Chuck. Didn't take any video. But I found another counter-stamped large scent. This one's a braided hair large scent. This one's beautiful. It came out of sandy soil. It's got a date of 1850 on it. And just like that, within a week, I've now found two counter stamped large scents. My first two large scents of the year were counter stamped. You can't make this stuff up. On with the show. Yeah, go through the tickets, find Mark. All the gold gilt on it, too. Really? Yeah, look. Ooh. Oh, yeah. One piece. Oh. Oh, beautiful. That's incredible, man. <laughs> Gotta love the buttons. That's a good button. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, my guess is like at least as old as War 1812. Yeah. I haven't seen one like that. It looks like it's got a little like rays on it. One piece, smash shanky poo. Yes, sir. Nice work. Awesome. <laughs> That's beautiful. Right on. Early Navy button. Oh, wow. The owner was telling us about some Civil War activity back and forth but uh we'll see if any of that time period shows up today i'd gladly welcome it billy fan of rain's guide other than not it's been trash we're in the backyard or the front yard now we're facing the water 82 stone oh, rod silver two for you could be another big copper could be a bazinga six pence who knows at this place? Down in the hole. Told you come in a little bit, honey. Oh, it's a silver quarter on edge. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's why the Equinox wasn't hitting it that far off the ground. Grass. <laughs> it was completely straight up and yes. down. Yeah. And out. This little coil, I'll send it up here. The Equinox could only hit it like two or three right. inches off the ground. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. So it is what they say. That yeah. thing has problems with silver on edge. Yeah. It's a 1952 silver Washington quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Not 1500 silver, but we'll take it. That's got a cool. In the date. <laughs> it's a D. I got the D. Got the D. <laughs> got the little D. Cool. We got some silver. There's stuff here, guys. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> There's that one. You can come down here a little bit. Try to get like a pop or something. There's something else over this way. Be a half dollar. Probably gonna be a Merc. It's probably the coin I was hitting on. 82 signal. I may not even been here in the quarter. Oh, it's another Ooh. freaking quarter, dude. Be a standing liberty. <laughs> I'm gonna rub it. It's a 57. 
<laughs> oh, wow, there's more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big silver spill. Oh, I got it in my hand. That should be a wheat. Yeah. Probably a weedy. There's more in here, Billy. I just moved it. Where's the silver? That's a weedy. Give me the year to spills. <laughs> nice. Well, that's cool. I'll scan it with the big beep stick, but cool little coin spill there for you. AT Max finds coin spill at 1630's property. Clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sweet. Yeah. Still rolling? Yeah. Go dig, turn dig, go digging, buddy. My coin spill came from there. I got a uh, war nickel and a weedy out over there. Another little coin spill. Bill came, came Brad and me all up real close. He's got a nice Nice sound of signal here. This is gonna be something older, I feel like. It's a little bit Sounds deeper. deeper. You got it? He's got it. In this? Is it well, in here? It's around here somewhere. Around here? You got the pinpoint. Right there. there it it's is. Freaking weedy, I think. <laughs> oh, I got That's weedy. what you get bottom feeding wheats. I got a wheat. <laughs> I got. Second. Oh. Well, it is Wednesday. That's why the other guys are here. I came back to the truck to post the Wednesday's video, and Mark just came up and handed me this. So it was really deep, and it's got like hand carving on there. It looks like it says Hamlin. This is USA. Or is that? No, it's definitely USA. Nothing on this side. No idea, buddy, but that's some old looking. Script. <laughs> Very cool. Yep. Right I like it. The temperature dropped. I'm freaking freezing. Uh, came back out here by the road and uh, got a 81, 82 signal here. It wasn't very deep. And to my surprise, it's silver. Yeah, that's, that's all deeper it was. It's a dime. It looks shiny. It's probably gonna be a Merc. That's my best guess. I'm finding some silver today. I'm trying to pop it. Let's give it a little spray. The juice is loose. Oh, one dime. It's older than I thought it was. Be seated. Any mint marks? Don't see a mint. Seated or barber. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna, it's a barber. Awesome, barber dime. The back cleaned up nice, I gotta finish cleaning up the front. We'll come back with a date. Barbie. Awesome, great. Yeah. The soil up front here is kinda weird. It had some weird gray film all over it. The obverse is worse than the reverse. It's uh, 1906. I actually had to loop at it to figure out what that last digit was. 1906 barber dime. One dime. I love the reverse of these coins. And I love the one dime game. And as always, I'm gonna rescan this little area because there's been coin spills in this yard for some reason. Hi Lady Liberty. Where are your friends at? I already kicked the uh, straws out of the way, like a little 77 signal here. Don't get much purer than that. Probably gonna be a weedy, but in case it's like a KG2 or some sort of British copper or something. Sure. Be some stupid. Ooh, big dandy button maybe. Nice. Be a GW. I wanna be a I wanna play a GW game. There's my hot hands. Come on, baby. This guy is dry up in here. Oh, what do I do? Do I spray it? Do I toothpick it? Let's toothpick it. I want to be GW. I want to be in that, that club. That'd be amazing. 
No, I may, I doubt it is, but. Never eh. may. Don't see anything there. If I get a design off of it, I'll cut back in, but that's a colonial coat button right there of some sort. Some people call them a cloak button. Right so on. stuff. Congratulations. That's how I found some old today. I've been finding <laughs> <laughs> Indians and barbers and stuff. This place is 1600s. Yeah. Hopefully that's a little precursor. You got something good? That road, the little dirt cut out right here, is a road. There's a road? Definitely. I'll prove it's car, it's fine car pieces. I found that on the surface. But that's not the best. Good. Nice tomback button, early stuff. I found one of these before, but this is my best. Alright, I'm not going to look. Nice, Billy! <laughs> Dude, it's been so long since I've had a cradle bell. And this whole... It's beautiful. It's number number two, buddy. Uh, number three, I thought. That's a two. Is that a two? That oh, is a two. Yeah, that's a two. I like it. That's awesome. That is a three. It? Yeah. That is a three. I was looking at it this way. It looked like a two. I had to clean up a little bit just to look at it. I was trying to clean out the jewelry. Yeah, that's a three. Bit, but... I didn't shake it. Does it ding? No, I, I haven't cleaned it all the way out. I got Good a job, down. buddy. I was just saying that we haven't found a whole lot of relics. I finally I found my first that dandy. Whole, that whole thing, I went side to side, side yeah. to side, the whole way down, and then back up and down. And it was like nothing but trash in this two things here. That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. I love cradle bells. I didn't find many last year. That's my second one ever. I'm happy. This one's a lot better looking than the first It's one beautiful, there. man. That's going to clean up so nice. Yeah, it's like the wait. like the white metal. Yeah, it's almost like the tomback like, material. Yeah, like the tomback material. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's called white metal. It's awesome. Congrats, have, buddy. I love it. Soak we'll, it a little bit. We'll dingle dangle it later. Yeah. There's a little stream over here you could soak it in. Yeah, I was going to If you want your hands to be frozen. <laughs> We're right in the backyard right now. The owner came out and told us that 15 years ago somebody lost the gold diamond ring. We told him we'd give it back to him if we found it. It's not a ring, but it had me going. It's a button. What is going on there? It's a big gold two-piece button. Hmm. Flower. That's a good looking button. Can't say I know that design. It's probably just a civilian. That's a good looking relic. Haven't found too many relics here. Oh, big sweet. gold gutted button. That's awesome. It is awesome. A relic. Alright, it's getting dark. Mark's got something. One more for the road. Jefferson. Just a Jefferson. The Jefferson. Where'd that light go, Bill? The Jeffersonian nickel? It looks like. It is. It's a Jefferson nickel. Yay. I got one in the day, but mine's 35% silver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to go. Cold yet, buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the temperature is dropping. It's dark out here. Uh, we're actually trying to block the wind behind some department buildings, but I don't think it's working. There's no way to get around it. Uh, we showed the gentleman uh, everything we found. He's glad we had a good time. He said we're welcome back. And now we're going to show you everything we found. There it is. I'd love to know what other people found at this place, because it's definitely been detected before. We're just picking up the, uh, the scraps. And uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of fill dirt in the backyard or closer to the water, but we had a good day. There's some Mark stuff. We got a little reed, some oiled linen, musky ball, maybe an earring, D buckle, big dandy button, big time back. Here's probably the find of the day. That navy button is beautiful. One piece, early history right there. He did get a copper looking thing. Could be a broke counterfeit or something. Feels like a coin. And two Indians, or two. Weedies and an Indian? Yeah. Very nice. Billy Boy got a rain sky, a doorknob, an ox knob. You're all, all about the knob today, weren't you? Oh, no. <laughs> a musket ball, a tomback button, and a really nice cradle bell. Let's hear it. Yay! Even dingles. I think these are pieces off like a sil uh, silver plated, um, like a tray. Both of the handles. Anybody know this? Emblem. Let's say a Florida leaf. So it's got the same thumb. Some some French car. I don't know. Door handle knob. Here's a light switch. You got one of these, buddy? Lipstick container. Lipstick. 
Some weird little badgy thing. Look at the shank looks like on that. A, uh, what do you call it? A drawer pull. Like drawer pull? Oh, yeah. Like it probably was yeah. a drawer pull. They got the D. Here's my big dandy button. Some clad and wheats. I actually ended up with four silvers. The silver spill and the uh, the barber dime. Two Indians. There's that flower button. And here's my favorite find of the day. The counter stamp large scent. The matron. R.M. Adams. That's a cool coin. I like it. We need to go get some hot coffee and warm up. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take the trash with you. Bye, buddy. Oh, it's matter. Yes, sir. What you looking at, buddy? <laughs> They're swaying, aren't they? It's windy. Uh, you couldn't tell by all the wind noise. Oh boy! <laughs> it's waving to us. Yeah. Tell us goodbye. It's creepy out here in the woods sometimes. I always feel like you're being watched. You ever feel like you're being watched? Like hearing voices and stuff? Ugh.